All righty. Good morning or good afternoon. Good evening, whatever time it is for you guys. Um, yeah. Um, happy Easter if you celebrate it. If not, but if also. Uh, happy weekend, happy Sunday, right? Um, it's been a while. Um, had to take another break here. Things in life happen. You guys already know. Um, right. I'm not gonna go into any details. I don't want to bother you with that. But uh, I had to take take a take a break. Um, it, it's uh, yeah, it's been rough. But uh, yeah, anyways, big shout out to to my friends who who stayed with me and uh, helped me out and just have been been there for me, right? Um, Mikey, um, Johnny, uh, Henry, Victor, Jacoby. Gee, you guys know, right? It's you. You guys been a big help. Anyways, enough of that uh, sentimentals over here. We are in France. We are in Paris. We got our trailer at a company. They loaded it. Uh, we are here in the back of a hotel, and we're gonna get that trailer. And I think we're going back to Germany, back to Leipzig. Um, quick one down off of the truck here. It's the. Uh, R series Scania by Fred. It's a payware mod. Um, I can put the link down in the description. You gotta pay for it. Um, it's a really nice truck. Um, different interior styles you can choose. You can customize. It, a whole bunch of uh, of options you got here. And uh, yeah, let me, let me show the truck from outside real quick. So yeah, the backside. Um, you can customize the license plate. And, uh, yeah. All the attachments come with it. Um, the beacon lights, the amber lights, the rotators. Um, they are default SCS. Me, personally, I don't like the strobes um, that came with this truck, but that's my personal preference. But, uh, yeah. Um... That's uh, that's about it. Exterior light is all orange. Really like that old school look. Got the old school custom square uh, indicators and back lights at the at the back here. Got some nice old school rims, two tone. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's uh, fire it up. Start the electricity first here. Everything's good. Brand new truck. I did a fresh install of uh, everything basically, so got not much kilometers here. 21 kilometers. Not much going on, but uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's fire it up. Crack that window open a little bit. And uh, yeah, put in gear. Release the parking brake. There we go. And uh, let's go and pick up that trailer.
there is our trailer. You have arrived at your destination. That looks good. Been a while. <laughs> there we go. Obviously, in real life, you would uh, step out real quick and uh, check the back of the trailer, check if the, the doors are closed. Let's take that opportunity to show the trailer. Not really much interesting. Um, I tried to get matching back lights and indicators for truck and trailer. Been a little bit of trouble, but I found mods that were matching and working together on this trailer and uh, yeah um, for those who doesn't know um, those stickers here attention uh, Anglais Mort that's uh, that's French for um, blind spots blind, uh, blind angles um, German um, uh, we call it uh, total winkel like dead angle spots you don't really see those stickers um, they are mandatory for trucks and trailers in France so since we are in France I decided to put them on there um, some companies they put them on there as stickers some others use like magnets I just put them on there they don't look good but it's realistic right so it is what it is, but uh, yeah, we went with matching truck trailer color combination uh, Got nice two-tone trailer rims as well on there Of course custom license plate With the license plate holder Aztec trucking nice lights overall and uh, Yeah, let's get back to Germany. Oh, yeah, one more thing you guys see those uh, those tire covers um, you can get them in, in uh, painted as well, but if you run a truck like this, like a show level truck, and you use it for day-to-day -day business, you use those regular plastic um, real arch covers um, to not mess up your fully painted when you go to truck meetings or whatever. Anyways, enough talk. Let's get out of here. How far are we gotta go? We got. Oh, down there. A thousand kilometers. Alright, that's manageable. Oh, one more thing. I want to check that out real quick. See what kind of route the GPS has decided for us. I wouldn't go that way, to be honest. Okay, this is debatable. This one would be a nicer route though. Place a marker right here. 1018, so not that big of a of a detour basically. So we're gonna go the nice scenic route here. And we're gonna go here. 
So why don't we cut across here? Can we? We can. It's a little longer. But in real life, I would take this route over this route, obviously. This is the A2, the main the main autobahn going uh, east to west or west to east, or however you want to like it, through Germany. So this one is better. Okay. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Let's get out of here. Some nerves there, French bus driver. <laughs> I do believe it's a little bit too, too loud here. Let me uh, put that master volume down a little bit. Maybe like this. Okay, I feel that's uh, that's a little bit better. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Looks like they had a little, little fender bender there. Sorry for being a little bit wonky here now with the with the camera movement and with the with the steering. It's been a while since I was uh, taking a break here. I didn't really play Euro Truck Simulator too much, especially not with the track IR. Takes a little, little time to get used to it again. Use the left lane ahead. I think I gotta get over one lane here. Yep. Gonna let it roll out a little bit here. Keep to the right, and then take the exit on the right. Use the right exit ahead.
you got a toll station coming up here. Uh, is this the automatic ones? Whoa! Jesus Christ. He just cut me off. The, the French bullet train TGV I think they they, they hold the record for uh, fastest uh, commercial mass transportation um, train I guess or whatever 400 something kilometers per hour You run the numbers yourself for how many miles that is. I don't know. Fast. <laughs> A lot. Toll station. Hooray. The good thing is, you can roll through basically. In real life, you would have to buy like a little. What the fuck are you doing? What the. French drivers. They really got that right in the game. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, in real life, yeah, you gotta buy this little transponder box you have to put into your, um, and on your windshield, right? And it automatically detects your vehicle, and you automatically pay the, the road fee, the toll. Germany for for trucks we have the same or it's not the same but similar system but without like actual toll stations they have like sensors across the the autobahns right and uh, you don't have to stop it it just registers your vehicle your, your truck and uh, there you go easy as that It's a little bit more convenient than uh, the French system where A, everybody has to pay, not just trucks, even cars, and you either way have to buy that transponder box or you have to stop at each uh, toll station and uh, pay with either way cash or card. So, uh, yeah. That's really the only, the only thing I did not like too much when I was driving in France in real life. It was always a little bit annoying, to be honest.
There's the lorry the tip of truck coming on. Oh, he's flying. Now he's slowing down. Oh, now he's indicating. All right, cool. We good on the left side. We good on the right side. All right. speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour over here but um, I don't really feel like going that fast to be honest and I do believe I do believe my truck is still a little bit too loud yeah I think I'm unintentionally talk louder than I uh, actually would have I don't want to yell at you guys Okay, maybe that's uh that's a little bit better now, maybe. We're gonna see how this recording turns out. If I don't like it, well yeah, I, I don't like it and I'm not really gonna release it. But I have to release something. I'm I'm literally forced to to do another video here. Thanks for that to uh to Johnny East Coast Johnny we've been talking yesterday and he was like dude it's been like four weeks since you last put out a video or some on some something so uh, you have to do something and uh, at first I I uh, disagreed but uh, yeah he, he's right I should put out something. But, uh, yeah, since I'm not pursuing any goals with this YouTube thing, just doing it for the fun, I wasn't really feeling like recording and posting anything on, on YouTube. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the curtains, behind the scenes, if you want to say so, private life things happened and uh, sometimes with, with those things happening you, you're not really motivated you're not really in the mood of recording and putting out videos and um, some people can and some people do and hey that's all right but um, I, I can't really really hide that if I don't feel good I can't put out a show and pretend nothing happened and uh, like I said if, if other creators can and do so hey more power to you right but on the other hand um, I, I can't and I won't and if you don't like that yeah well tough stuff uh, yeah we are crossing into Belgium now we just we just getting out of France here we cross into Belgium no border control whatsoever, no passport control, thanks to the European Union, right? <coughs> and, uh, yeah. 
Continuing our journey here. How we're looking good on diesel. Yeah, we are. We good. Speed limit around here is 90. Again, I would probably never... Never drive faster than 80 over here, to be honest. Because you see it for yourself, right? Right, not too bad. That's not a not a too long train here. There we go. Oh, what? I am. Um, Honestly, no idea what I just hit here. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch that later and see what I hit here. Maybe I hit the the railroad crossing sign there on my right side. I'm not too sure. Interesting.
feel like I gotta gotta adjust the um, the cabin suspension here a little bit. I feel it's a little bit soft though. Um, gameplay? I think it was on the gameplay. There it is. Cabin suspension. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up a little bit more here. See how that feels because sometimes it genuinely feels like uh, turn left. Like uh, my truck is gonna flip over to the side. Oh, okay. back on a <clears throat> on a interstate or freeway or whatever you want to call it and we are also actually close to the uh, what just happened with my give me a second something something just went weird here something got up weird with the uh, the seating positioning here again. What the? Use the right exit ahead. Oh, this is a this is a terrible recording session. Nothing really works like it's supposed to be working. So this is the border between Belgium and Germany. Yep, back in Germany. I gotta adjust the seating. Can't do this like this. All right, that feels better.
I think, uh, yeah, I forgot to look for a good traffic mod now because usually if you drive around this area in Germany, the area of Cologne or Köln, how we say here in Germany, um, you would never have that easy of a pass here. Maybe, maybe you would have this amount of traffic during nighttime if you pass through here, if even. This is really a high traffic density area, but uh, yeah, that, this just felt like weird. Whoever is familiar with the area here in real life, you know what I'm talking about. I think we're like, like halfway there almost. Yeah, it feels like, I think we're like halfway there. We started with like 21 kilometers and uh, we're now at uh, 580. Total length of this uh, route was like 1,050 or something like that. So yeah, we are we are around like halfway there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to get a get a rest area here in a bit and take a little break. Use the left lane ahead. And I'm probably gonna do a do a second part of this job because it's a little bit long. We already like like 40 minutes 41 minutes into to this recording Whoop. what happened over here somebody forgot some cones you oh, know there's some debris laying there oh interesting i think we gotta gotta take the exit here in a bit Oh no, I actually no, that's the 44. We're probably gonna have to take the 45, I guess. That's the 44. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is this again trying to take me this way? I thought I put a... Yeah, I thought I put a freaking... We could have taken the 45 and then go. That would be a longer way. This is the actually this is the, the better way to go. We're going around Castle. We don't gonna go through Castle. We're gonna take the bypass, and then the 38 passing Sangerhausen. 38 going on nine, and that's already Leipzig there. Yeah. Okay. Why did it reset the the the, the route? I doesn't matter anyways we uh you're gonna take the exit here not really exit but we're gonna take the interchange here and go go 44 east and there's a rest area coming up and a construction zone
All right. Good enough. All right. Let's take a little break here, and I will see you guys uh, in part two. All right. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And uh, I'm out. Peace.